I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Um, hold on, somebody said. We are about to get into Teseki and um her sister was going back and forth yesterday. Actually, her and Krishan. Well, her and Krishan wasn't going back and forth because Krishan didn't even respond. Uh, but Teseki was talking to herself. So basically, Teseki was feeling some type of way about Krishan's uh side of the interview where she spoke on Teseki. And um, she basically was saying that she, you know, didn't want Teseki to get clout uh because that's all she wants. And um she was upset at the fact that Teseki didn't do what she said she was going to stand on business to do. She also said that the girls, she tried to insinuate that it was kind of like a storyline um, more so than anything. But also she, it was kind of contradictive because she was saying that she was upset at the fact that Teseki was trying to act like she wanted to fight her while she was pregnant, basically. Girl, that's the best I can give y'all. But Teseki said, this meatball is such a liar. The boss man asked me to be on baddies. And I said, yes, Tareen and Tessa di didn't and don't want smoke with me. Uh, never did. Never did. Why you lie like this? I have nothing but receipts. I'm still a Tifa. Remember that. All right. Um, I guess this is what she referred. Friends jumped her, but then she, she came back and got him. But see, at the end of the day, what everybody don't realize, whether it's I'm glad she's like, my friend stuck up for me. Yeah. And then it wasn't even just that. When we got on the mother. Oh, it was like, I pay Jay Marks whatever I got paid. I'm looking at them. Do y'all really want to get your ass for some money? Wait, pay who? Jay Marsh. Oh, the girls. Yeah. No, oh, no, you got me talking no, about right. no, So she insinuated that they got paid for it. All right. So that's insinuating that it's fake. Blah, blah, blah. So heaven, heaven GP, which sister is this? That's Tareen. So Tareen. Uh, came in and got the talk in her big one because she felt as though uh, Teseki tried it. So she said, wait, what Teseki? What the F is this? The F you talking about? You getting, uh, you getting above yourself, talking out the side of your neck. You got me effed up. Uh, funny, not funny. Who didn't and don't want smoke? We was around to protect. Didn't see you. You know what's up with me. You looking for a highlight coming off real oppish, the world like division, and you giving up your girl. You're giving up. You're giving it up. You're too invested in the clown side of the BS, the phony internet BS. Don't mention me and not at uh, first for most. Get at me directly. Be for real. Lord, I'm tired of reading. <laughs> the the run on sentences be out of control. Uh. Let you in, just had your own hidden agenda, you dead wrong. All right. Um, so they was going back and forth in the comments. Teseki, well, <laughs> Terrain told, told Teseki to line that shit up. Um, she said, whole time I wasn't even against you. I was making sure y'all stayed off each other through all that I was available to be on the real kind, be on who whoever's plan. With y'all, you acting up, tripping, running your fingers, talking ish. I'm against the family not sticking together. Beat y'all homegirls up before I crush y'all. Uh, I made my position clear. You still don't know <clears throat> how much I had your back. But the family part, I was against y'all going against each other. I'm against all ops. Okay. Now, Taseki was absolutely responding in this moment. But well, right now, I don't see her responses unless she deleted them. We're going to have to go through these. Um, somebody did send me her responses, so I'm going to have to go to them. Taseki beat them. Yeah, Taseki whooped them, okay? Hey, let me teach you, shorty. Let me teach you, shorty. Um, okay, hold on. All right, y'all, let's get into... This is Saya's part on Messy Monday. We about to get into it. Let's keep keeping. Okay. Next up, Dr. Eric, we have Sia. This just came out of nowhere. And Saya. And it, like, alarmed everybody because it was posted onto her Instagram. This... <laughs> I'm sorry. This right here, and I'm just like, oh, my God, what is going on? Why is she all snatted on like that? Like, I understand people want to take... <laughs> Pictures, my man's like, oh my god, just some smelly dogs. 
So I'm like, why is who that did this? And then I post a picture of the girlfriend with an apology letter. I'm like, oh, she done beat her. So she talk about, you know, apology about being arrested. And then for, I guess, allegedly... A Girl, her girlfriend was talking in crazy third person. Girlfriend, and then it goes to the apology saying, I should have been a better girlfriend, I should have been this, it's all me. And I'm just like, something ain't right. Because she really don't post her private like on her page like that. You know, so I frequent every now and then. I'm just like, this is just not adding up. And like, this seems like hat. This seems like you trying to embarrass somebody because... If you just like, like you ain't gonna just put all that snot and crying and all that stuff on there like that. You ain't gonna do that. So then y'all come to find out somebody allegedly hacked it or whatever the case it be. Uh, bitch, I, it's the girlfriend if you ask me. I can't say it, but girl, it was her. Uh, who the fuck else gonna do that dumb shit? How do you hack somebody's page to give yourself an apology letter? It's Crazy. Hack somebody page to give you an apology letter from the person that you want to apologize, but she ain't apologizing because you are crazy. You dumb as you stupid. Like, come on now. Ignorant. What's going on? What the fuck going on with y'all? I just want to say thank you to everybody who reached out and texted me. Uh, I was hacked. <clears throat> and uh, I want to clarify that I've never, I've never abused her or anybody that I've ever dealt with. I wanted to, I wanted to move on respectfully and privately. Um, videos and photos of me were posted, and at times in vulnerable states, also with the police involved. And I mean, even with that being done, I do not wish to drag her name through the mud or. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what. Our problem is, and our as in black people, because white people will drag you to filth, okay? When you done fucked up, white people gonna drag you to filth. Now, it may sound very, very much so educational, but they will drag you to filth, okay? But for some reason, when somebody has wronged us, especially on this here, Beyonce and Krishan's internet, for some reason, we don't want to drag them. I, too, have been in the same position. And I can't even explain to y'all why we do that. Be vindictive. Um, I hate it. It's I a bad trait to have. I my heart, and people who know me know that. I only... I really don't even know what to say. I woke up to this. Um blindsided by this and and her grandma recently passed and she is not taking it well at all um i don't know and the only thing i'm saying is like in her location i'm just like well girl <laughs> and y'all see now oh i'm done dragging now oh bitch bye you'll never get away uh, uh, any of my time now i may address something quick but a full video? Oh, uh-uh. But what? However, she had just did that. Like, that was fucked up. What she did to her. That wasn't right, y'all. So I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I would have had to drag or put, put some paws on her. Cause baby, I'm put paws on you for real now. You wanna play? Why y'all always bring y'all friends and this stuff? Leave these old folks alone on my dead mama, on my dead granny. Granny, like, granny ain't got nothing to do with this. It's between y'all. But I guess that's what y'all be saying. Like, if it, everybody know y'all be for real, but y'all be lying on that name too. And then on top of that, you rest on soul, but your grandma is gone. How we know that's the only person you've been to? Grandma can't tell us that. But child, I don't know, child. I mean, I just... This is your sign to leave that girl alone. That girl is crazy. If she'll do this... Back. And then record and embarrass you and post it and do that. That is a psychotic, crazy fool. Especially the fact that when she was trying to jump over the balcony or whatever. Like my nigga, come on. That was a very, very, very vulnerable moment. Obviously, she was not in a good headspace at all. So if anything, you should have been trying to help her. And then what she did was filmed her. And then dragged her ass off the balcony. Now, granted, she might have filmed her. I ain't gonna lie. When people start talking that shit around me, because I used to be that person too. But when people start talking that shit around me, see, I don't want to be an accessory to that. Like, you you off yourself. And now they thinking I did that shit. Oh, no. 
I ain't got time. I ain't got time for that shit, y'all. Mm-mm. And people will put you in that situation. And they gonna be gone as hell. So you gotta deal with it now. So I don't blame her for filming it for that reason. But now to, you know, expose it after that's fucked up. Ooh, and you need to leave. I hope you got the fuck up out of there because this thing is thing. You know what I mean? So, all right, child. Y'all keep in your prayers because that is a roller coaster. If it ain't about me, let's keep in this. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below about that.